Hi guys and welcome to episode 7 of the Things We Like uh, Arsenal Rebuild. So, we're now in the January transfer window and I wanted to kind of take you guys through some of the free pl uh, transfers that I'll be, well, I've actually signed but I'll talk you through who I've gone for um, and I'll just talk you through how the team's doing, league position etc. So, actually let's start with the league. So, at the moment we're top just but um had some uh interesting results but we struggled against um man city and uh rashford in the last minute rescued us there but at the moment not doing too bad as you can see there uh, i did put some game footage up before i think it was arsenal versus wolves um let me know if you want to see more game footage and see how the team is progressing but um currently so if we look at the top scorers you've got Aguero way up there so 18 goals Vardy's at Chelsea if you remember I've done a little recap in the um, um, end of the last window um, and uh, Ali somehow is up there on 13 goals but our boys Rashford and Martial so we've got 13 and 12 so doing really well there so really pleased with their progress so um we have got man united next but i wanted to do some transfer stuff because i really enjoy getting the players in so i'll just show you the squad as it stands so you might have noticed some numbers have gone up um bettering got a red card in the last game so eh, no no biggie there but in terms of player ratings and ages etc everyone's doing pretty well so we've got uh, bettering that's on 2481 training and all that he might go up uh, you know a few more points at the end of the season so he's doing really well um, Bailey and Martial Rashford Pepe Goretzka all in the 80s all progressing really well so what I'll do is I'll show you the um, attributes how much I've gone up by one I'm really pleased about is um, Torreira because in the old FIFAs it wasn't really kind of rated too well but in this particular version of FIFA it's done really well here so uh, 82, uh, 23 years old so definitely going to keep him but with the transfers I've got in mind I'll kind of explain what the future strategy is going to be in terms of how the team's going to work out uh, Tierney is doing well, 22.78 really happy with him Upamecano and Konate so Konate's actually hit 81 uh, Upper Meccano has done really well as well. So uh, the bench, all the all the young players are progressing well. I've been training them as well. So I will show you the attributes in terms of how much they've gone up by. But um, I'm relatively happy with what, how the team's progressing. Um, the second string defence there, all have gone up. But I want to make some sales in this window. So Mari will be going, uh, which I'll sh Probably, might, I might do it in this episode. I don't know. We'll see. Or if not, it'll be in the next one. You might see him gone. But um, if I get an offer for him, I might do a little scenario in a moment see if we can maybe get some money in for him. But Guendouzi's doing really well. Balogun, Coyle, Burton and Medley. I've had so many offers for them, but they just don't seem to want to to leave. It's like we've had multiple offers for them to go. So it's a bit frustrating. I might have to... Hopefully, someone will come in and buy them and they'll just go. But anyway... Uh, in terms, actually, let's go back to the squad hub. So, um, where are we? Stats. So, goals. So, can you see that? Look at that. Rashford, 20 appearances, 18 goals, 10 assists. Doing really, really well. It's like this, such a good investment. You know, seems like a lot of money initially to outlay on him, but done amazingly well. Martial as well. They really complement each other really well. Um, they scored some really, really good goals in some of the games I've played recently just to get up to the window. Uh, Vinicius at the moment is uh, six goals, eight assists. Not doing too bad, to be fair. Uh, have trained him to kind of boost him up a bit. So he's um, doing all right, to be fair. Goretzka. So obviously went for Kai Havertz and then it was like silly money. But Goretzka's turned out to be a really good revelation. So six goals and five assists there. So Martinelli, so he's kind of my backup striker with Venetia. So I rotate every game to make sure everyone gets a good run out there. So he's now on five goals, seven assists. So considering 
it might be predominantly used as a left-sided midfielder or winger. Um, as a striker, not too bad. I mean, he is a bit weak at times, gets barged off the ball, but we'll kind of develop him. But uh, I'll reveal more in terms of what his future is going to be at Arsenal in a moment when I go through some of the transfers. Foden is doing really well again, you know, five goals, six assists. So relatively pleased with his performance there. Uh, I won't go through all of them, but just kind of like the main ones here. Uh, Bailey's doing really well. He's fast, man. If you if you guys haven't got him yet in FIFA, I highly recommend him. He's a solid pace and, you know, he's a really good uh, good player there. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do now. We'll go through the attributes. So I'll just show you what's going down with the team. So, John Jules. Uh, yeah, he's gone up by two, but he's on loan, so good for him. But I don't know if I'll keep him long term at the end of the uh, loan period when he comes back. But going on to our kind of first team at the moment. So Martial's gone up by two. So really happy there. His value would have shot up as well, no doubt. Uh, Maximiano, Balogun. Both of them gone up by two. Obviously he plays every other game, but Balogun doesn't. So he's gone up. So quite impressed with him somehow magically going up. So that's all good. Konate. Impressive, impressive man. This guy's solid. Him and him and uh, Upa Meccano, really happy with them both. De La Vega, he's developing slowly, but he's gone up by 0 0.2. Uh, so really happy there. Coil, don't even play Coil. He's gone up. So all good for me because his value will just go up and then I'll just put, hopefully get some more money in for him. Vinicius, yeah, he's doing, he's doing good, man. He, he will hopefully score more goals and grow. You know, realise his full potential. So he will be sticking around regardless of what's happening with other transfers. Uh, once again, I won't go through... Actually, I'll go through the item. Sorry. Martellini's gone up by two. Smith Rowe. I'm going to probably bring him back. Keep him. Uh, I like this player. In real life, he's a good player as well. So, yeah. See how it goes with him. Medley's gone up by two. Haven't played him. Done well. Uh, Bellerin's gone up. Done well there. Saka's gone up by two. Nelson's gone up by one. And then you've got Pepe, Foden, Goretzka, Sabios. Sabios, even though he's not mine, I do play him quite a bit. And I wouldn't mind having him, actually. He's actually not a bad player. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of the loan term. Maybe I might buy him back or not. But we'll see. Um, Burton, Olienka, Rashford, Bailey, Guendouzi, all gone up by one again. So, El Nenny's on loan, but he's gone up. So, that's good for me because worth a bit more money. And I will sell him. Uh, Sheaf's gone up. He's on loan. He'll be another one I'll probably sell. Torreira, really happy about. Aaron's has gone up. James has gone up. Uh, I'll say 2 2's on loan. He's done well. Uh, Van Housden and Saliba. So they're my second string uh, centre back. So they're doing really, really well. Mori's gone up. So he's going to be sold. So that's cool. And let me just scroll down. So you can see there from our current squad, Upa Meccano has gone up. Tierney's gone up. Leno's gone up. Mkhitaryan is the only one coincidentally to go down, but he will be sold anyway, so not too fussed in terms of that there. So going on to the transfers, so you'll probably be intrigued just to see who I've gone for. So I did say in the previous episodes that come January, I'm going to look to sign some freebies and I will keep them and then sell them for some profit, touch wood. But um, I'll just show you who I've gone for. So... Let me go to my club. So here we are. Here's the spoilers. So Ever Benega, so 31 uh, centre midfield. He's 84 rated. Absolutely solid. So I do want to get the squads overall, you know, like everyone into the 80s, etc. And the younger players will be uh, given the opportunity to develop and train them, etc. But where I can improve temporarily, I will loan the other player out. So currently, Benega, why not? 84 rated 24 million so keep him for a year and then sell him i don't know how much if it might go up because in the older fifas anyone over 30 some of them would go up in value some of them just kind of decline and then you know their value goes down as well but who cares man it's free free money really so this is a good strategy for those that haven't really kind of thought about signing contract expiry players get them in get them in cheap like you know in terms of wages signing on fees just uh you know Always look at doing this. It's a good strategy to build up your kitty and then buy the place you really want. So this is the star. Hamez or even James Rodriguez, how you want to pronounce it. So can't believe he was a, uh, a freebie as well. So 
once again, look at his worth. He's 28.5, he's 28, and he's 84. So he will probably grow, I'd say, into late 80s. And you never know, he might even develop further. Who knows? But in saying that, you know, to get someone of his calibre, I mean, we've got in that position at the moment Goretzka and Foden. Foden's doing, doing well, but the thing is, I might actually have to loan him out in the following window. So come the summer window, James and... Uh, Goretzka will be my one and two and they'll rotate and Foden might stay on the bench but I might loan him out so he gets a game time to develop but what an exciting signing look at that man world class player there so really really chuffed with that and another one people don't really rate Jordan Henderson in real life but he's actually not a bad player um, but another one look at that 29.84 he's worth 27 million and you can't complain with that so he um, he's someone that you know what, I've done a bit of scouting and sent my scout out to find some players with, you know, less than uh, a year on their contract. And then this guy came up, so I thought, you know what, why not? Look at his numbers, stamina is solid, short pass reactions, long vision, uh, sorry, long pass vision and aggression are all solid there. So him and Benegar will kind of rotate in terms of sitting where Torreira is. So I, don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do there, to be honest. I'll probably cross that bridge down the line when all the players do arrive. It might just be a case of a rotation game, or it might even be a case that uh, Guendouzi goes out on loan. Uh, but if he's not developing enough, I might actually sell him and then just keep Henderson. Uh, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge anyway. I'll, I'll do like a team reveal down the line. So I did say I wanted a, another striker um, because Martinelli is not really a killer striker as such. He is decent. He's got great potential. But um, obviously Rashford and Martial are like your one and two. And I will aim to buy uh, some other players, like high-class players. But for the interim, he's free, he's 32, and he's 85 rated. And he's worth 32.5 million. So at the moment, he's, he's got a broken tailbone, as you can see there. But you know what? Why not? And if, if I decide that I want to keep him as a, kind of like a backup rotation striker, then I might just do that. But if not, I might just keep him for a year, be 33, might might go up a bit it might not go up a bit he might stick around 85 and his value hopefully will still stay the same um and you know what i'll cash in on him and then that will allow me to buy like the you know the harlands the sanchos etc the players that i'm aspiring to buy and show you in this in this team so that's another pretty uh relatively exciting transfer there so quite chuffed about that one aaron Gies, so this one's coming in in from leverkusen he's another one that might rotate with um the Torreira position with Henderson, etc. But also, in saying that, there's no reason why he can't play as a central attacking midfielder. So there's always potential there. So another one. He's 30.83 rated and 21.5 value at the moment. So that's solid money there. But the plan isn't to keep these guys long term. I mean, James Rodriguez I'll keep for a good couple of seasons, but the rest of them will probably will sell after one year and cash in. So you know what? It's a great player to have there. And this one is another superstar. So Alexandro has come from Juventus. So another one I was quite surprised to have found, actually, considering he's quite, you know, a uh, top-end player to have for a freebie. So that's that's quite shocking to get him on a freebie. But well chuffed there. So he will rotate with Tierney. Although in saying that, he will be the number one in that position. Tierney will be his backup. And that unfortunately means that either Reese or Aaron's will have to go on loan. Which is probably going to be good for their development anyway. But I do want the best players at Arsenal. So solid signing there. Really, really solid. So really chuffed about that one there. And I will cash in in a, in a couple of seasons as well. So that would be awesome. But uh, that kind of concludes the free transfers for now. Um, I haven't actually had a look at other players in terms of who I want to sign in this window. I'm relatively happy with the way the team is. But I think the only one I will probably cash in on is probably Mari, Balogun, Cole Medley and Burton uh, for the time being. I've got about 30 million in the kitty at the moment. Um, I don't know. I might look. I don't know. Actually, in saying that, James what is 2076. You know, with a bit of training, he could probably develop further. But I've brought these players in mind to, you know, to kind of grow anyway. So 1974 there. So I don't know. I might, I might uprate one of the other players. You know, upgrade uh, one defenders uh, for Bellerin maybe, or even I don't know. 
do something controversial and sell Bellerin, I don't know, and uh, get someone else in, but relatively pleased with how things are. But for the, for the moment, um, I don't know, I might get another striker in just to kind of infill, or something that I really want uh, to kind of compliment Vinicius, and Martinelli can go down the bottom here and just kind of come in, you know, intermittently into the squad but let me just show you who I was thinking of so let me just go back to the transfer hub taking its time let's go let's go up let's go up got tons of players on my shortlist so there's a ton of players that I want to I want to get in uh, I might even do something random and buy someone like um, Tielemans from uh, Leicester. I don't know. I haven't really thought about much in terms of where I want to be, what I want to buy, who I want to buy. Ferran Torres, this this guy. Yeah, I forgot about him. So he's got a release clause of 27.6 million. I might try and perhaps get him, but he's got good growth potential. Um, uh, but do I really need him? I don't know. It's the thing, isn't it, really? You've got Sabios there. But this guy potentially could be a world beat. I mean, his numbers indicate to me, 1979, he could be a superstar. So, maybe. Um, but let's go, let's concentrate back on the strikers. So, Gordon Bennett got so many players. Let's zoom up the list. I did previously talk about maybe getting a wing guy and converting him into a striker, but I'm not really sure. But drop some uh, suggestions in the comments uh, of who you think I should potentially buy. I'm not, I'm not committing to anyone right now in this episode, but just want to kind of give you an indication of who I might uh, go for. Uh, all these players I definitely want to get in. ZX actually just signed for Chelsea in real life, so it'd be interesting. Uh, Jonathan David's doing really well. They look 1979. Quite impressive, there, actually. What's his... Uh, oh, he's actually going to be going on loan, so... Missed that trick there. David Silva, look, that's another one uh, I wanted to mention. He's another freebie, but the reason I didn't go for him is because he's 33 and he's 87. Even though he's 87, but he's 33. Now, the thing I'm thinking is, I don't know how this might work. I mean, I could buy him, keep him for a year. He might hit about 34, 35, and his value might be relatively good. But then, I don't know, as a rule of thumb, I don't, I don't generally like signing players over 30. But I have obviously broken that rule in this transfer window, as you saw earlier, like um, some of the players were over 30. So, but I don't know, FIFA's changed. So, you know, their values do retain as they get older, somehow, some of them. So, I don't know, I might I might pick him up on a freebie. But um, I think Modric was on that list as well. So, here we are. So, let's go back down to the strikers. So, Mertens, you can see, I've got in there. So, really chuffed about that. He's 85 rated, solid. So, you know, can't go wrong there. Uh, Firmino, all these kind of players, you know, look at that silly money. Look, 82 to 136 million. I'm not paying that. Ja Felix, I really like, really, really like. Um, and he's on loan at the moment at Marseille. So when he comes back from loan, I might stick my f uh, finger in and see if I can get him. Uh, Memphis, fortunately, Man City have got him. So I've missed out there. Chiesa I mentioned in the previous video. So he was 22.78. He's actually 22.79 now. So I don't know. He's worth, what, 16 mil there? It might cost me up to 23 million. So if you look at his numbers, um, he's got a couple of traits in there already. But I like speed and acceleration. And look, he's got 88 and 86. Um, attacking position is pretty good as well. Stamina is re reasonably well. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, he could be someone that's quite interesting. His finishing's not impressive at the moment. It's on about, what, 70 there. But training could could bring that up. Um, then I could go down the whole kind of winger route here. So Herving Lozano can be used as a striker here. Let's have a look at his finishing. Finishing 76. So he's got a bit better finishing than Chiesa, actually. But he is two years older. Uh, he might cost... Well, actually, his value's 25 million. So I might be able to get him on a cheap. David Nero is from Ajax. So... Could be used as a right winger or central attacking midfielder, but you know this game is odd in that you know if you've got a player that's got good finishing, they could be used as a striker. So 76, and what's his worth? 26 million. Release cost 31. Might be a good investment actually. Um, 22.82. That's actually not a bad, not a bad player to have. So that's one to watch out for. So keep your eyes out in the next episode in terms of uh, him potentially. Williams another freebie, but value's not much. 
and I don't know if he's going to be one that might increase. He's not really world class like the others, so I might skip him now. Rodrigo, can I get him? Oh, he's just recently joined, so I won't move again. Okay, so he's one to watch in real life as well as a solid player. Um, so let's go up here. So I scouted some random players, thinking it might be decent, but 1971, nee, not really sure about him. Icardi. Yeah, he's on loan at the moment, but he's already made like world class superstar, so he might cost a lot of money there. Pellegrini, I thought was another one that looks like they said that he's got good potential, but as you can see, 1869, I don't know, he might be a slow developer. Kane's just silly money. We'll see, like 99.7 to 148.2. Might break the bank. I do aspire to get the best in. Mbappe, madman, Mbappe, a lot of money. Uh, Romelu. What a tank. What a tank. Uh, so he's just joined. He's worth 48 million. Serie A, some players' values seem to drop. So I don't know. I might try and get him in. Tammy's gone. A bit gutted about that one. So a bit annoyed that Newcastle sniped him. So it is what it is. Uh, Edward. Actually, you know what? Um, I need to scout him. But as recommended by one of the... Uh, in the other episode, someone uh, commented that he's not a bad player to have. I think he grows up to about 86, so we'll see. Timo Werner. Uh, I haven't got the dollar to get him in, actually. Look, 76.3 to 112. He's just joined Chelsea. Chelsea will be formidable next season, so as a gunner, I'm actually kind of a uh, bit gutted about, you know, their aspirations. They seem to be signing world-class players, and we've got problems at the moment with Aubameyang and contract negotiations and whatnot, and Saka, you know, Saka's... The second needs to be tied down. He's a great player. So I don't know what's going on there. We need to sort it out, Arsenal. If you're watching Arsenal, sort it out. Um, Boadu, 1876. Um, oh, he's gone to West Ham. He's gone to West Ham. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Who oh, no. knew? Oh, no, no. Sorry, not West Ham. My mistake. Burnley. Yes, not West Ham. Got mixed up with the Claret. Yeah, that's a bit of... Uh, Bit of a boo boo there to miss out on him because he, he looks like he could be a solid player. Oh well, missed out on him. Never mind. Hala. Richarlison. Richarlison might cost me, what is it, 37.6 to 62.1. I don't know. It's worth 28 million. I've got about 30 in the kitty. I don't know if I can get him in. But his numbers look pretty impressive and his finishing's not bad either. He's an 82 there, so I don't know. Uh, Liao, 2077. It's not really much of an improvement over uh, Martinelli, so it's kind of not really worth going there. I don't know. Calvert Lewin, I don't know what he grows into. Um, sprint speed's wicked, man. 89. Finishing, 75. But then once again, is he is he any better than Martinelli at the at the moment? There's only a couple of points overall. I think Martinelli's at 75. It's only four overalls better, and he's three years older. So I don't know. Do I persevere with Martinelli? I don't know. Uh, Lataro Martinez. I want him. 48 million. I haven't got the money right now. Moise Keane. Jovic I want, but I skipped him because I know he's just silly money. Look at his release clause. 73 million. So it's not even worth looking at him. That's why I skipped over him. Moise Keane. So, um, he's just joined, so he won't move at the moment. But he's worth... He looks like he could be another mini Lukaku. So... Might keep an eye out for him. Uh, Wesley at Villa, I um, don't know, 23.78. 23 is odd, I expect him to be around the 80 to 83 mark, so not really too keen there. Cunha, I don't know anything about this guy. Just a random that I, I scouted there, so he's 20.76. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, this guy, damn, look at that. So, once again, I've just missed out on him. So, he's gone to Alaves, so look at that, man. 21.79. I need to do some more scouting. Um, Mbolo, actually, that's quite impressive. Mbolo's gone up to 78, but he's on loan at the moment, unfortunately, so missed out there. Haaland. Haaland, Haaland, Haaland. He's just joined. He's going to be one on my radar, so I will keep an eye out for him. Um, Inaki Williams. 36.2 million to 52 million. I haven't got the money there. Also, Milik, how much is this guy? Oh, I just accepted a move to Atletico, missed out there. But I don't know. We'll see. If you can think of anyone I should sign, 
um, leave it a uh, suggestion in the comments but um, yeah I'll leave it there for now um, I hope you have enjoyed watching so far uh, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching bye